Well, in my day, there was no other choice. It was New York or nothing. Actually, one of my favorite Pride memories is running into Keenan at this bar last year for Brooklyn Pride. Every weekend's a party, but especially in June. I do remember a couple of years ago, a bar where there's no sound system, they just play show tunes on a piano. I think it was probably the most unified crowd and definitely the gayest. We all like went in a big group for like the Pride Parade. I remember going for the first time after gay marriage was legalized. So it just felt like a massive celebration. Cooking and food is the way that we like show love. So we love having like dinner parties with all of our queer friends. One thing that I think has been amazing is really seeing kids coming now. Like that's a huge change in my lifetime. Judy Garland had died and she, they had her funeral at Campbell's on Madison Avenue. And if you stood in the line and looked around, the majority of people were gay. And it empowered people immensely. I've spent a lot of time at Stonewall. Every time I go, it feels like family. I come from South Africa. Getting here and seeing Pride in all its shades and sizes was something that was like, oh my God, we are community. The energy in New York is so unique. You don't feel stifled in New York City. I mean, I really can't imagine a better place to be anywhere on the LGBTQIA spectrum. This city feels like home in a way that no place ever had. I, you know, grew up with a ton of straight friends, <laughs> and this is the first time I really had like a circle of queer people around me. I consider that potion or that mixture of whatever makes us and makes us different to get. Bottles up. <laughs>